Ready? Ready. I'm here with Andrew Burton. Uh, he has been an assistant coach for how many years, Coach? Uh, been an assistant coach for 11 years. For 11 years, and I worked with Andrew at Johnsburg, and I just had to say that you know when I worked with Andrew, probably probably the best assistant coach that I've seen. Just so much energy that you bring to the Appreciate to the field, and um, obviously a lot of knowledge. So let me just start off by asking you something simple. And it doesn't not even specifically about you. All right. What makes what do you think makes a good assistant? An assistant coach is out there. What are the types of things you need to think of, be be cognizant of that makes you good? A, a, good helper what, what what are those things well for new assistants I think it's important that you are a student of the game and obviously even if you're not a new assistant that you want to remain a student of the game but for new assistants that's very important uh, I also think it's uh, very important to understand the vision of the head coach all head coaches have a different vision they all have a different idea of how they want to accomplish things and uh, it's important to understand what the head coach is trying to do and then align yourself with your practices. That's good. I, I like hearing from assistant coaches, and I know myself, my vision, my, what I thought as an assistant, once I became a head coach, I wish I could go back in time and become a better assistant, I know, and some of the things I didn't think of. Uh, just to change gears real quick, because we both coached them at Johnsburg, I just wanted to see... Uh, you know, we both coached C.J. Fedorowicz at Johnsburg, and we used to kind of laugh and joke about just kind of how freakishly good he was. Uh, just briefly, what are your thoughts now? What, what do you think of this kid's future? You know, I think he's a great person, so we don't even have to talk about what kind of person he is. Um, you know, just football-wise, what, what type of potential do you think he's got? Well, first off, I wish the best for C.J. He's worked, he's worked very hard. Um, his potential is unknown. I he, he works as hard as anybody I've ever seen work at the game. Uh, he's extremely coachable. Uh, it's, it's no telling where his road will end. Uh, at this point, uh, I think he's taking the correct path and he's listening to a lot of good people. He's got his mom and his dad involved and uh, he's just, he does everything he's supposed to do at this point. So I wish him the best of luck. Yeah, I think he's gonna be fun to watch over the next couple of years. Um, you know, do you have any desire to one day be a head coach? I've gone the route of being a head coach. I was a head coach in Washington State for two years. I enjoyed it. I had a great time. Uh, I, I imagine that opportunity will surface again, and I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to go that route. Uh, and when it does, if it's if it's the right job and at the right time, then yeah, I would like to do that. Okay. So uh, let me ask you this then: um, as a head co as a coach, as coaches, I think that we both begin to understand that there are several offenses that will work that you can have success with. There are several defenses you can have success with. Um, personally, I've always thought there are a lot of good plans, just pick one and kind of stick to it. So if with that idea in mind, so not to say that anything you or your coaching staff are doing would not be correct, just you personally, your opinion, what would you run if you became a head coach? What would you run offensively? What would you run defensively and why? Uh, first off, First off, you have to wrap what you're doing. Uh, it has to be centered around the talent and the athletes that you're dealing with. Uh, and if you have the ability when you go into a situation, uh, a head coaching situation, to have an idea of uh, what type of weightlifting program is there, uh, what type of youth football is there, uh, all of those things are gonna give you a pretty good indication of what type of athlete you're gonna be dealing with over the next few years, five, six, seven years even. Uh, and that's gonna lead you to uh, formations and plays that you can then run and series of football that you can run. Uh, personally, I think uh, either you're going to deceive somebody with an offense, possibly some type of wing tee. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, uh, wing tee is now evolving and getting into a gun offense, obviously. I, I'm a very big fan of the option. Um, and then last but not least is going along with that if you have the athletes to do it be able to throw the ball get into a zone style look and give the ball to the halfback and kind of you know grind it out but I'm a, I'm a big fan of either deception or option football defensively um, you know def defensively it really really depends on what kind of athletes you have on the field I do know that defensively what I want to do is I want to make sure that I'm uh, emphasizing my athletes, putting them in the position where they can uh, deal with 
uh, the scheme and be the person that we're going to rely on to make plays. All right, fantastic. Well, thank you for your time, and good luck to you thank as you, you continue your coaching career. Thank you very much. Ready? Ready.